Good morning, it's Friday, April 26th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. Happy Friday, happy PCE day. So overnight, the precious metals were higher after yesterday's late day surge. The two-year Treasury yield reached 5%. The dollar index eased back to 105 and a half. Today, we'll see Core PCE, one of the top four monthly reports that provide two things and can really ruin or really reward a futures trader. It provides uncertainty and also volatility. Those are some things that a lot of futures traders tend to avoid. This is where position management, sizing, and the willingness to accept defeat are critical for the longevity of your survival as a futures trader. There are four reports that really provide this kind of volatility and just surge in unknown out there. And right now that's the core PCE, the CPI data, the non-farm payroll, and also the FOMC. So always have your guard up when those particular reports come out. Now the expectations for PCE are 0.3%. A soft PCE data could really show that the economy is weakening and that coupled with the weaker GDP could really put some pressure on the U.S. equity markets. I believe that the, the resistance point on the S&P 500 is 5130 on up to 5140. Your critical level of support if you do see that softer PCE data is going to be 5080. Now a hotter PCE data coupled with a weaker GDP report is what gold really loves and it's stagflation. It's one of the best and most thriving economic environments for the gold market. Think about it. You've got rising inflation, which that's what always people say is that gold is a hedge against inflation. The reality is, is that the best inflation gauge is crude oil and gasoline futures. Now we're gold does its best is when you have a weakening environment where the Fed is stubborn and getting ready to cut rates and then also you have the rising inflation. So that's your perfect environment for gold right now and I believe that with copper futures heading higher, silver futures playing a little bit of catch up, up about 1% in the overnight session, I think it's going to be setting up for a beautiful day. So your levels here on the gold, your resistance point is going to be 2400. I said we've got to break through that. That's where you'll see the short start to cover and we could see those all-time highs come back into the picture. Your critical level of support is going to be 2320. If we break below there, you're going to see these long futures and the weaker hands that got long in the last few days are really going to run to the sidelines. On the silver market, 2850, your critical level of resistance, we break above there, 29, 2990. $30 is going to be well defended by some of the banks, and then we could see that breakthrough in 35 and beyond. Your critical level support on the silver market, 27.23. Again, the weaker hands will step out there, and we'll want to monitor the copper market and the gold silver ratio. Again, 92 to 1, that's going to be the 2024 high. 83 to 1, that's going to be your 2024 low. You got any questions? Looks like a beautiful day out there. Let's hope this report comes out great and we all have a great weekend. You got any questions? Give me a call. 312-858-7303. Remember, futures and option trading does involve risk loss. May not be suitable to all investors. Good luck. Good trading.